Last year, I filmed my entire process for the fourth issue of Clear. This is partly to show you a true behind the scenes look at how comic books are made. But in large part, I was seeking answers for questions that I had about my own artistic journey. I thought that by sharing this journey, it would be beneficial both for me and for you. This is a work in progress. In this series, the first question I'd like to answer is whether or not I can get back to the speed at which I used to work. And I think I've found an answer, but it goes against every instinct I have as a freelancer. Quit everything else. No more covers, no more illustration gigs, no more anything except for clear. I'm going to streamline my schedule by keeping the main project the only project. I'm going cold turkey, baby. I have 18 days to pencil, to ink, and to color a 20-page book. Now, whether or not I'm gonna make it in those 18. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. If you can send it on my email. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're not oh, off yes. to a good start. I forgot my layouts at home. Okay, cool, yeah, because I'm in front of the computer and that way I can just pull it straight to function up. Okay, thanks, Rach. Okay. Come on. Sweet. This, this will be my first and definitely not the only mistake I make for the day. Typically, I'll flesh these out, but I'm feeling pretty confident about my storytelling abilities. I feel like it's one of the hallmarks of my career. What I shouldn't have been feeling too confident about is my ability to recollect what those layouts are. This mistake will definitely bite me in the butt later on. But for now, I'm gonna jump right into the pencils. Today's plan is to pencil two pages. It's day one, so we're gonna ease our way in. To put things in context, the expectation of an artist is to pencil one fully finished pencil page a day. My pencils are rough. I'm gonna ink it anyway, so my main goal at this stage is creating shapes and keeping things loose to retain the energy in the layouts. And what yeah. Yeah. there is of the layouts. That's what I'm saying. Like During this time, I was reading and watching a lot about productivity. Okay. Oh, Although I'm pretty up? sure taking personal phone calls during the day isn't on that staying productive list. Band-Aid solutions will have to work for now. One of the subjects I kept running into is this idea of monotasking or single tasking. I realized for a long time I've been juggling a lot of projects and I mistook my ability to do them as being good at multitasking when in fact, it was slowly but surely breaking me down. I think a lot of people call that burnout. Well, I ain't got no time for a burnout. Have you, have you talked to Ian ever since uh, his car? Oh yeah, no. Oh, fuck, I left him hanging on a text. No. What'd he say? I forgot to reply back. Um, what helped build my career was definitely not my correspondence skills. Rather, my ability to keep moving forward and get the job done. I don't know if this expedited or delayed my improvement as an artist, and there's an argument to be made for both. But to be honest, I don't really get too caught up in measuring my improvement. I mean, maybe I should. I just do the work. Keep the chain moving forward. So I'm switching gears. I'm gonna dive right into the inks. Here's my theory. It usually takes me a day and a half to two days to pencil, ink, and color a cover. But that type of sprint, I usually only have it in me for a couple times a month. I'm a momentum type of guy. My preference is to concentrate on one element at a time before I move on to the next step. But maybe what I need to do in order to accomplish this insane deadline, my goodness, insane deadline of what I'm doing, perhaps shaking things up would, I don't know, do something. My speed has been one of the things about my art that's kept me up at night. 
I have these feelings of not being who I used to be. Like, I've lost a step or two. I'm used to being on the comic stands every month. Heck, I used to write and illustrate a monthly book. But in recent years, I've been nowhere near as prolific. I think the byproduct of these insecurities made me take on too much cover work and side gigs just to have some presence. It kept me on the stands, but it diluted my focus. So here we are, day one of single tasking or monotasking, whatever you want to call it. And you know what? Right now, I'm feeling pretty confident about my progress. If I pull this off today and stay on track with this kind of output, I'll only be two days over my deadline. Or if I give up a couple days of my weekend, this should be doable. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I don't work on weekends. At least I try not to. This isn't the 20 something year old me who spent 38 hours in the studio to get the job done. What worked for me back then was just putting in an insane amount of man hours. I can't do that anymore. My responsibilities have grown significantly larger and beyond the work. I got a family now, so my priorities have to shift. I, I need to be smarter with my time, more intentional. There's nothing more satisfying than checking off your to-do list. In fact, it's comical how redundant this system is that I'm using. It's not a system, it's just something I made up. I penciled, inked, and colored an entire page in a day. My confidence is at an all-time high. This would be my second mistake of the day, because truth be told, this would be the last time I felt this confident. But hey, art is as much of an exploration as it is a journey. We get lost every now and then. Mistakes are made, and we keep learning. All we can do is put one foot in front of another. We're all a work in progress. A little bit of history of how I broke into comic books. I believe that how I broke in, that door may have been closed. Well, you're begging me to stay, but